Disc access is obtained and a complete discectomy is performed, paying particular attention to the posterior gutters to allow proper positioning of the stay lift device. The end plates are carefully prepared, assuring complete removal of the cartilaginous end plate and presence of bleeding bone. The trial sizer is inserted into the non-distracted disc space with C-arm fluoroscopy assistance to select the proper device height. The intent is to get the best fit and fill of the space. Device selection is made using both C-arm and tactile feedback. The selected implant is attached to the implant introducer and packed 2 mm above and below the graft cavity device surfaces to enhance graft material end plate contact. The implant introducer is removed and proper positioning is confirmed with C-arm fluoroscopy. The device tamp is used to provide additional device positioning if required. Beginning with the central screw hole, use the awl guide and awl to create pilot holes for the screws. The intent is to simply pierce the end plate. Clear any interfering bone or soft tissue from the vertebral body and or screw hole to allow for complete seating of the awl guide and screw, affording the proper screw trajectory. Insert screws beginning with the single screw, but do not fully tighten until all three are positioned. Sequentially tighten all screws until implant is secure. Obtain AP and lateral x-rays to confirm final position. 